extra memory board. I will analyze it. Return to base camp. I am recording this while observing the wanderers from a distance. They are strange creatures, seemingly able to continue communicating even after losing their heads. I will never get used to it, no matter how many times I see it. Since we launched our investigation, the cameras in our drones have spotted numerous human-like metallic crystalline life forms. Basically, they are the organisms referred to as wanderers by Wardenclyffe's section. Although we know that wanderers are strange and unique organisms that take human hosts, we are yet to find any humans not already infested. Wanderers apparently got their name from their tendency to wander aimlessly about the cave until they come into contact with us. At present, the only thing we know about them is they are extremely sensitive to sound. Most wanderers have poorly developed eyesight, but have offset that with hypersensitive hearing. Still, there is much that we do not know about their ecology. Naturally, we plan to continue our research until all of these questions are answered. I'd like to go over the mission that has been assigned to the Karen Corps. Basically, our squad received the mission at the request of a certain organization. The aim of this organization is to establish viable wormhole technology. So the purpose of this mission is to recover Kuban energy and carry out research on the world of Dite and its inhabitants, which are known as Wanderers. In addition to that, my unit's also been tasked with eliminating any threats posed by said Wanderers. However, there's no doubt there's more to this mission than what most of us have been told. The space race has lost considerable steam lately, leading many to believe that the US and the Soviet Union will engage in joint experiments in the near future. Naturally, the US is hoping to take the leading role in any such developments. If America can perfect the wormhole technology first, it'll be in prime position to take the lead. That has caused some people to get rather worked up, and the usual conspiracy theories abound. Then again, where there's smoke. Plus, I I've got my the own feeling as to what's going on. Against the data yeah. available to me. With the ink on the, the biological weapon was a member of the Terran Corps. This serves as a sort of loophole that could allow Joel a nation Martin. to do an end run around the treaty in order to obtain to a private biological weapon. Wounds. If a country could somehow manage to control the wanderers that inhabit this world, I wouldn't put it past some of those as... I'd like to go over the mission that has been assigned to the Karen. I'd like to go over the mission that has... With this memory board data, another phase of my memory restoration is complete. You can now craft an air tank. 
I detect a memory board within the dust. Begin your search. You've prepared an air tank. You can now enter the dust. Having crafted an air tank, you can now operate within the dust. However, the tank is only so big. If the oxygen in it runs out, your life will begin to drop. If you're low on oxygen, you can use coupon energy to replenish it. You can take advantage of this feature from your iDroid. I'd like to go over the mission that has been assigned to the Karen Corps. Basically, our squad received the mission at the request of a certain organization. The aim of this organization is to establish viable wormholes technology. So the purpose of this mission is to recover Kuban energy and carry out research on the world of Dite and its inhabitants, which are known as Wanderers. In addition to that, my unit's also been tasked with eliminating any threats posed by said Wanderers. However, there's no doubt there's more to this mission than what most of us have been told. The space race has lost considerable steam lately, leading many to believe that the U.S. and the Soviet Union are engaged in joint experiments in the near future. You should Naturally, rest before you're out of gas. To take the leading role in any such developments. If America can perfect the wormhole technology first, it'll be in prime position to take the lead. That has caused some people to get rather worked up, and the usual conspiracy theories abound. Then again, where there's smoke... Plus, I've got my own theory as to what's going on. Hear me out. With the ink on the biological weapons convention barely dry, this serves as a sort of loophole that could allow a nation to do an end run around the treaty in order to obtain a new type of biological weapon. If a country could somehow manage to control the wanderers that inhabit this world, I wouldn't put it past... the dust. It really is 
like a sea of dust in there, given how thick it is. The visibility isn't good, but try to remain calm as you go about your search. Your oxygen will decrease while you're in the dust. Always keep an eye on your oxygen gauge. One other important point. While in the dust, your stamina consumption is greater than normal. Be careful. That memory board is nearby. Go secure it. I'd say you're getting the hang of this routine. from memory board. I will analyze it. Return to base camp. It has been 10 days since we lost pretty much all communications with headquarters. We have no timetable for the necessary repairs, so on my there authority, are two ways to open a container. Its research. You can spend time carefully opening it so you don't alert nearby enemies. Our research has basically come to a or you can open it quickly, rate, though any enemies that are within earshot will hear you. In, in other words, we you can unlock it, or you can destroy it. We'll leave that <laughs> decision to you, Captain. We may be able to derive energy from it. We have also found areas rich in Kuban crystals. So, our efforts to harvest Kuban energy, as well as increase production of devices that utilize it, look promising. We should be able to obtain all we need that way. As for the Wanderers, our current concern is their relationship with the dust. Since we've detected Kuban energy within both of them, there definitely seems to be some sort of connection. When humans who have become Wanderers absorb the dust, Perhaps the Kuban energy therein crystallizes within their bodies. We'll need to study this possibility in more detail. At any rate, we finally found a much more effective way of obtaining Kuban energy than directly harvesting it from the Wanderers. This is a major advance. While the proposed devices that utilize Kuban energy have their uses, the wormhole transporter is the one that fascinates me the most. A functioning transporter would greatly expand the scope and reach of our research team. We also need to accelerate our deployment of the skilled trainer, which has been stuck in the inspection phase. But I still do not understand how good luck ever conceives such devices. The ability to instantly transport matter or physically enhance the human body. That sounds like science fiction. Furthermore, they were both developed in such a short time, despite the fact that they use Kuban energy, an energy source we know almost nothing about. I am beginning to wonder, will I ever be able to match his talent? Tragedy struck our team. There was nothing that could be done. A man was badly injured after being attacked by wanderers out in the dust. However, the air tanks of the other members were depleted and they had no choice but to return You're to base. You're clear of the dust. Even worse.
Since you are no longer in it, you are no longer on oxygen. Don't worry. Your oxygen supply will be replenished automatically when you return to base camp. Tragedy struck our team. There was nothing that could be done. A man was badly injured after being attacked by wanderers out in the dust. However, the air tanks of the other members were depleted and they had no choice but to return to base. Even worse, we're unable to contact HQ at this time, so there's even more confusion than usual around here. This won't be the last of the casualties if we continue with our mission. The mission and that secret task that I was assigned. Capture a wanderer and return it to our world. Is that really something we should even consider? Taking one of those things back with us? There's so many of them. Probably more than we can even count. We've got no idea how they reproduce either. If left unchecked, they could just keep on spawning for eternity. Aside from that, there's something else that keeps me up at night. I really don't know how to say it, so here it is. I saw some kind of giant creature. It happened when I was out on patrol. I came across it completely by chance. This thing was so big and terrifying that it made all of these other creatures look harmless in comparison. The wormhole has brought all kinds of things to detail. I imagine this thing is no different. Whatever the case, if it ever decides to attack us, there's not much we can do. I quickly returned to base camp and reported the matter to my captain. Then I took a group of men and led them to where I saw the creature. However, it was nowhere to be found. My captain said that my visibility was reduced by the dust and it must have been a rock or a mountain or something. But I know what I saw. It's out there somewhere. And I know it's only a matter of time before it attacks. At any rate, we need Chloe to get that device up and running ASAP. If what they say is true, it will at least make things somewhat easier for the squad. Please synchronize your iDroid with me here. Captain, there is one item to... Hang on a minute, you mind? There's something I've been thinking about. The body of that Charon Corps member. The one you got the damaged air tank from. He'd been shot. Needless to say, we haven't seen any wanderers with guns. Meaning, he had to have been killed by a person. Right? What's that all about? That is unclear. Oh. My point is, these incidents don't make sense. If my theory is correct... Ah, uh, forget it. Sorry for butting in. Getting back to the report, Captain. The data you recovered revealed the location of a wormhole transporter. Wormhole transporters are devices utilizing wormhole technology. Two points. So we can use this thing to get home? Unfortunately, the wormhole we can generate with this device is structurally different from the one needed to return home. Nevertheless, this device should allow us to explore a much greater area than before. Currently, all devices are offline. Despite the potential danger, we should bring these devices back online. Wormhole transporters allow you to travel a great distance in the blink of an eye. To facilitate future exploration, I suggest you reactivate this one. I took the liberty of marking its predicted location on the map. Open your iDroid to see where this is.
the transporter until the reactivation process is complete. Activate the wormhole transporter and expand the area you can search.